we now talk about average velocity and average speed now velocity is a vector it is given as displacement divided by time taken notice that displacement is a vector also average speed is path length over time taken speed is a scalar quantity now since path length is always positive so path length is greater or equal to 0 speed is also greater or equal to 0 on the other hand average velocity could be negative also because displacement could be negative so let us see some examples so these examples will illustrate difference between speed and velocity so say you are going from 0 to 4 and then back to 0 so we will rename 0 as origin O and this point 4 as A so displacement is 0 because you go from O and come back to O so you go from O to A and then back to A so say you go from O to A in 5 seconds and you go from a to o in 10 seconds so the total time taken in the distance traveled from o to o is 15 seconds now displacement is zero because you start from o and you end at o so you have o o vector as the displacement which is just of length zero so v vector is zero on the other hand the path length is 8 it is O to A which is 4 and then A to O which is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so speed is 8 divided by total time 5 plus 10 15 the so speed is 8 by 15 meters per second whereas velocity is 0 meters per second So let us now come to another example here we will consider negative displacement so say you go from 0 to minus 5 and then you stop finally at minus 3 so 0 is named as O minus 5 is A and the final resting point is B so let us first talk about displacement so final resting point is B, B so we need to talk about OB vector which you can say is OA vector plus AB vector because you go from O to A then from A to B this you can rewrite as OA vector minus BA vector so we are changing position of A and B and we have to do that because only then we can add OA vector and BA vector notice that OA vector and B A vector both point in the same direction that is towards the left and this is equal to O B vector now O B vector is a negative vector because it goes from O to B and we fix the left pointing vectors as negative vectors now you can see from the diagram itself the length is 3 so the velocity vector is OB vector divided by time taken. So let us say the time from O to A is 5 seconds and from A to B is 5 seconds. So the total time taken would be 10 seconds. So OB vector is minus 3. So it has direction which is minus sine and magnitude which is 3 so you have minus 3 by 10 is the velocity what is the speed now obviously speed is always positive so speed is given as path length over time so the path length now is you go from O to A which is 5 and then from A to B which is 2 so 5 plus 2 is 7 
and time is 10 seconds so you get 0.7 meters per second another example you go from 0 to 5 and then from 5 to 10 so this 0 we will call as origin this black dot we will call as C and this final resting point as A so we travel from origin to C in 10 seconds then from C to A in 5 seconds so let us talk about velocity from C to A the velocity from C to A is C A vector over time taken now time taken from C to A is 5 seconds given to us and C A vector has length 5 as you can see from the figure it goes from 5 to 10 so 5 divided by 5 is 1 so you are taking the time taken from C to A that is important speed is path length is 5 time again is 5 so speed is 1 meters per second and you can see in this case velocity and speed are the same 